Hi everyone, it's Sarah at Cornish Papercraft. I hope you're all well. I just thought I would bring you, um, I'm going to be bringing you a set of videos that are using retired products purely because I've made it my mantra this year to, to not buy too much new and to be using my old, what I already have in my stash. So this one's a very simple Christmas card. I know you're going to say it's Christmas in July, um, but it doesn't hurt to start getting a few just into into your stock and ready so it's going to be using the star of light stamp set and we're going to be using the swirl and the saying here that's the only two stamps and then out of the die set also by the star of light which is this one just here we're going to be using this one and this one okay so i have gone ahead and cut all my card, I can run through all the sizes with you. It's just to stop me getting a bit too nervous when I'm making videos. So I'm going to be making two, so I have got plenty here. So your base card, Knight of Navy, is four inches by eleven and a half, scored at five and three quarters. Your next layer is a white layer, and that is one eighth of an inch less. So what's the, not this one. Bear with me, is this one just here? So this one is three and seven eighths. And let me just line that one up by three and five eighths. So that's just one eighth of an inch less. Your next layer is Knight of Navy again. That's going to be one eighth of an inch less than the white layer. So you're looking at three and three quarter by five and a half. And then your final layer, which is the one you're stamping on, is one eighth of an inch less again. So that's going to be three and five eighths by five and three eighths, okay? So that's all that you need to make this beautiful card. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is a bit of stamping. Um, so let me just get that one out. So if there's anything like videos that you'd like me to try and do, I'm more than happy to try them. Um, I do get quite nervous sometimes, but I'm sure that's something that eventually or hopefully will fade. Um, but yes, yeah, so I hope I hope everyone's just enjoying the content that I'm I'm bringing to you. So you need your Knight of Navy ink pad, this one. Now mine's quite juicy, so I've got to be quite careful with mine. And then just bring I well, it depends on how how you prefer. Sometimes I will bring the ink pad to the stamp, um, especially if it's quite a a large stamp. So let's just position that one just there, and give it a good press. Obviously, with photopolymer, you can see where you're stamping. Um, and we, oh, that didn't work very well, did it? Let me just get my stamp mat. I'm going to turn that piece over and try that one again. I do find sometimes with the photopolymer stamps you do need just that extra layer underneath just to make sure they all come out okay. So let me just try that again and give it a good press. Much better. There we go. So using the stamp mat it has come out much better. So I'm going to keep my stamp mat there I think. I'm just going to move that one out of the way and I'm going to grab the saying. I bought this stamp set and then didn't get the use out of it that it deserves um, and now I've just decided that it, it needs to be used because it's it's there and it's a beautiful stamp set and there's just so many things you could do with it if you really wanted to to push your imagination on it. I think the only thing sometimes I worry about is that after a while of using your photopolymer stamps, they do they do stain, unfortunately, and they go this horrid pink colour. Um, but there's nothing that can be done. There's nothing wrong with the stamps. It doesn't break them down or anything. It just, just stains them. And then just give that one a good stamp down. There we go. So that is all of your stamping done. So I'm just going to put my Knight of Navy over there, just so it's out of the way. 
So the next thing you need to do is die cut your stars. So I've done the big star in Knight of Navy, so that one's just going to go straight across there. And then being quite fragile with the next one because it does bend as you're trying to pull it out. So this is just Whisper White. You could take it up a notch and do it in shimmery white or glitter. Possibilities are endless. You could change the colours, you could go with silver, you could go with shimmery white. Or you could even go with red if you really wanted to have a nice punchy card that's going to stand out. So just pop that one just on there. So I don't have the fine tip glue pen. It is something I keep telling myself that I need to get. And then each time I do an order I forget. Um, just because I think it would be so much easier. When you're doing sort of fiddly pieces like this star, it would be so much easier to be able to just to, to get the glue on the right pieces without smudging it onto everything. Okay, so now all we need to do is assemble the card really. Like I say, I always use, if I make a mistake, I turn the card over, reuse the other side. There is, there's nothing wrong with it. Or you can put it into your scrap bucket. Um, I have a, a scrap bucket just behind me. And I've just separated them down into the colours. So I've got one with black and grey in, one with the browns in, one with white and vanilla in, one with pinks and reds in. Just so it reminds me that I do have scraps there that need to be used. And my, glue, my glue is really playing me up at the moment. So I'm just going to try and forward that on a bit. I think there's been a bit of a dodgy batch coming through from Do Crafts. Because I've had quite a few break on me, which is a bit of a shame. So let's just try that bit again. There we go. Back working. And then this one goes straight down onto your Whisper White layer. You don't have to do this many layers. I just thought that it gave it a bit of a nice touch. Um, just backing it up each time. And then just pop that one just there. So this is where I like the effect that you've got the four layers now because you've got white navy, white navy. And then all you need to do is grab your big star. I use wet glue for something like this just purely because trying to get tape on it I think I'd have tape over most parts of the desk rather than um, on the star. And just pop it down. Now I didn't, I mean I will be putting a white layer into the middle, um, I haven't put stamps on there but I mean you could, you could do a stamp, you could put that one in there or you could put one in the middle in there or you could even put Merry Christmas inside, possibilities are absolutely endless but I hope you enjoyed that one, it was just a quick and easy um, Christmas card in July, um, I know everyone probably doesn't want to think about Christmas, I certainly don't at the moment. Um, but I think we all need something to look forward to, especially with the trying times that we're in. So I hope you enjoyed that one. If you do, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.